I'm joined now by Axiom Space's Chief Strategy Officer, Matt Ondler. Matt, thanks for being here. Where else would you be, though? <laughs> no, thanks for having me. This is a fantastic day. Going to be a fantastic launch tonight. So let's talk about Peggy Whitson. Tough question. Can you describe her in four words? Sure. You hit me with a hard question right off the bat. Uh, let's, I'm going to go with gracious space professional leader. That's pretty good. That's pretty excellent. Uh, when Peggy's not preparing to go to space or recovering from coming back from space, what is she doing in the office day to day? Yeah, she's, she's actually very helpful. Her and our other astronauts for Axiom are really helpful in helping us design our space station. Um, and actually, she gets right back to it. Uh, after her last mission, it was only about a week, and I found her in the lab helping engineers. We were designing the payload rack. And, and those sort of insights of, from someone who's actually been there and had worked in microgravity are really, really important and valuable for our engineers. And I know just walking around the office, you feel like, oh, it's Peggy Whitson. And then she's working alongside you, and she's giving you great advice, showing you how to be a leader in every single moment. So it's really wonderful to have her, but also watch her on a mission at the on the ISS. What excites you about commercial space travel? Yeah, I, I, there's a lot of things that excite me about commercial space, but one of the things that I, I think is going to be so amazing and, and really change the world is the things that we're going to be able to make in space that you can't otherwise make. You know, we're flying over 60 experiments on this flight. Uh, a few of those are repeat, uh, where we've flown uh, this particular team on all four of our missions. and and by leveraging microgravity and how it affects cancer tumor growth and stem cell growth, uh, they're discovering novel treatments for, for cancer. And I think those sort of things are, are just one of many, many examples that are going to occur once we have a commercial space station up there. So this is our fourth mission. Wonderful to see all the growth from one, two, three, and now four. What is it? What are the opportunities for international partners, for foreign nations? Yeah, I really think that we are becoming the world's space agency and really helping lots of countries emerge in space. This particular mission is, is a great example where all three of these countries have flown one astronaut before, but it was all 40 years ago. So almost two generations for these countries. And so it's very, very impactful and very, very uh, humbling to be able to help these countries. You know, one of the things that I Googled uh, this morning was uh, there are 350 million children in India under age 15. So there's more children in India under age 15 than there are people in the United States. Wow. I hope all 350 million of those watch the launch and are inspired by it and uh, want to get into space and exploration and engineering and math. I know that there are watch parties happening right now all around the world. So those children hear you and they will be inspired by this mission. I'm so excited to see what comes out of it and what happens in the future. Awesome. Me too. Thanks, Matt. Thanks for being here. And We'll see you back in Houston in a couple of days. All right. Thank you.